Tomorrow night, three top Republican candidates in the West Virginia Senate race face off in a primary debate right here on Fox News Channel in a race that could tip the U.S. Senate, possibly in favor of the GOP, but the balance of power in the Senate hangs in the balance. As correspondent Peter Ducey reports, today the candidates are already fighting for West Virginians' votes, and in one case with some questionable tactics. There are not many Hillary Clinton fans in coal country. She lost West Virginia by 42 points. So now Congressman Evan Jenkins is out with an ad accusing a primary opponent, Attorney General Patrick Morrissey, of being one of them. Morrissey refused to support Trump over Hillary. A picture is worth a thousand words, and this picture is also fake. Now the Attorney General is tweeting, despicable at Evan Jenkins WV photoshopped my photo with at real Donald Trump and substituted it with Hillary, who I've always strongly opposed. Will the media call out Jenkins for his lying and dishonesty? Where is the accountability as this liar tries to deceive voters? Jenkins says he has no regrets about the edited picture. Uh, that picture uh, speaks volumes of exactly what Patrick Morrissey was. He was a never Trumper. He wouldn't vote for Donald Trump in the primary. Morrissey is accumulating out of town endorsements from the editors of the National Review, Senator Ted Cruz, and Senator Rand Paul, who will join Morrissey on the trail this week. His campaign argues he's got the most conservative record of anybody running and that, quote, when voters find out about Patrick's defeat of President Obama's war on coal, Patrick's efforts to expand gun rights and Patrick's protection of unborn life, they are eager to support his candidacy. A group with ties to GOP leadership is spending big to boost either Morrissey or Jenkins. The Mountain Families Pack has already spent $1.3 million on ads against Republican Don Blankenship, who is still on probation after a year in jail for a misdemeanor conviction tied to the upper Big Branch mine explosion that killed 29. I think it probably moves me up a little bit because I don't think that uh, Mitch McConnell realizes how anti uh, him and how anti the establishment West Virginians are. Blankenship is now trying to offset some of the seven figures Republicans are spending against him by spending, he says, seven figures times something of his own money just on the primary. And if he does make it out of the primary, Blankenship tells me the hardest part about beating the Democrat Joe Manchin would be having to spend time with him. Brett? Peter Ducey live in West Virginia. Peter, thanks. We'll see you there tomorrow. Those top three candidates will join Martha McCallum and me for a debate in West Virginia, Morgantown, actually. Bring it to you live from there tomorrow night, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, following an abbreviated version of Special Report at 6 o'clock and the story after the debate with Martha.